How can we turn ourselves into the person we want to be? How can we break bad habits and make the habits we want easier and more automatic? Atomic Habits by James Clear answers all of our these questions. In this video, we will perform a visual summary of this book and will get deep into subjects such as habit loops, massive action versus 1% improvements, goals versus systems, motivation versus environment, the four laws of behavior change, and more. For more details keep watching until the end of the video. The Power of Atomic Habits A slight change in your daily habits can guide your life to a very different destination. Tiny adjustments in our habits can change the direction of our lives that we may not notice until we look back many years into the future. In Good and Bad Ways Your Habits Define You Massive Action versus 1% Improvements Too frequently, we persuade ourselves that massive success is only possible through massive action. However, it is the small improvements that actually bring an incredible change. Let's take a deeper look. 1% better every day for a year equals 37.78 times better improvement. If you get 1% worse every day for over a year, you will get close to zero. Your habits can worsen against you in the form of things like self-criticism or anxiety. Alternatively, you may compound them for yourself in the form of relationships, knowledge, skills, and productivity. Success is the product of daily habits, not once-in-a-lifetime transformation. The Truth About Progress When we start a new thing in our life, here's what we think should happen. Linear Progression But here is what really happens. See the beginning, small changes in our progress are not even noticeable. This area of the graph is referred to as the Valley of Disappointment by James Clear. You have achieved so much. You work so hard, yet the effects are hardly noticeable. Most people fail at this point and return to their old habits. Patience is needed as the strongest results of a compounding process will be delayed. Goals versus Systems Forget about goals, focus on systems instead. A goal is an outcome that you want to achieve. The system holds the process that produces results. According to conventional wisdom, setting clear and realistic goals is the greatest way to achieve anything in life. But if you completely ignored your goals and just focused on your system, would you still be successful? According to the author, you would. Having only goals has the following problems. Because successful and failed people share the same goals. So, the goal cannot be to separate winners from losers. Achieving a goal only has a short-term impact on your life. Goals can create an either-or conflict. You either reach the goal and succeed or fail. Even if you've made progress in the right direction. When you reach a goal, what do you do afterward? If your goal was to run the local marathon, chances are your motivation will quickly disappear upon completion and you'll just fall back into your old routines. Goals are good for setting a direction, but systems are best for making progress. A System of Atomic Habits Change is difficult, but you are not the problem. It's not that you don't want to change, it's just that your system for change isn't working which is why you keep repeating the same bad habits for such a long time. There are three levels to habit change. The first layer is changing outcomes. The result, winning a game, losing weight, and publishing a book. What you receive are the results. The second layer involves altering your process. What you do. The new fitness program, 
as well as the formation of a daily reading habit. The final layer is changing your identity. What you believe. Most people focus on results, but the best way to change your habits is to focus on the person you want to become, rather than the results you want. The goal is not to write a book, but to become a writer. The goal is not to run a marathon, but to become a runner. When something you want in your life becomes part of your identity, then your behavior will naturally change. When you tell yourself and others that I'm a writer, you want to live up to that identity. The Habit Loop A habit is a behavior that has been practiced frequently enough to become automatic. The ultimate goal of habits is to solve life's problems with as little energy and effort as possible. A continuous feedback loop is used to create and reinforce a habit, cue, craving, response, and reward. Our brain runs through these steps in the same order each time. Cue. The head goes blank at work. Craving. Want to ease the frustration? Response. Check social media. Reward. Satisfies the need to be less frustrated. Over time, rewards become linked with cues. In this example, checking social media becomes tied to your mind going blank. Then checking Facebook can be the cue to check YouTube and so on. And before you know it, your mind has resulted in 20 minutes of wasted time. The more you value these habit loops, the more powerful and automatic they become. Try to think of any cues in your daily life that trigger your good or bad habit loops. So how can we influence the habit loop to work for us? This book shows us the four laws that lead us to do just that. Law 1. Make it obvious. The majority of your existing behaviors are so automatic that you aren't even aware of them. You have to become aware of your habits before you can change them. List your activity for the day and make a comment about each activity, whether good, bad, or neutral. At this stage, we are not trying to change anything, just observing what is happening in our daily lives for clarity. Studies have shown that the reason people don't stick to a habit isn't because of a lack of motivation, it's because of a lack of clarity. A good way to start a habit is with the habit stacking formula. To stack habits, link a desired habit to an existing habit according to the following formula, after, current habit, I will, new habit. For example, after dinner, I will read for 20 minutes. A habit chain is more likely to be sustained if it is practiced regularly. Motivation versus Environment In his work, James Clear argues that motivation is highly overrated. Our environment affects us more than our motivation or willpower. It's difficult to maintain positive behaviors in a negative environment. Environment is the invisible hand that shapes human behavior. Creating a habit requires redesigning your environment. Law 2. Making it attractive. We take action if we anticipate being rewarded. The more rewarding an activity is, the more probable it is that we will repeat it until it becomes routine. Making our habits attractive is crucial because it is the expectation of a rewarding experience that drives us to take action. Here, you can use a strategy known as group influence. We keep wondering what will others think of me and altering our behavior based on the answer. People close to us and the groups we belong to have an impact on us. One of the greatest ways to reinforce a new habit is to identify and become a part of a society where that behavior is the norm. If you want to write more, join a writing club.
Law 3, Make it easy. How long does it take to form and develop a new habit? When a behavior is repeated often enough, it starts to become automatic. When you repeat an activity, your brain changes to become more efficient at doing it. Reducing friction, the law of least effort. Habits are more likely to form when less energy is required. If you have to drive 15 minutes to go to the gym, you probably won't. If your gym is on your commute to the job, chances are you will go there. When you make your good habits more convenient, you're more likely to stick to them. Law 4. Make it satisfying. The most important principle of behavioral change. A feeling of happiness is a message to the brain, this feels nice, let's repeat this next time. When you feel pleasure, your brain learns that the activity is worthwhile to remember and repeat. What is immediately rewarded is repeated. What is immediately punished is avoided. The first three habits boost your chances of doing the habit this time. The final law enhances your chances of repeating the behavior the next time. The gap between immediate and delayed returns. It's common for us to feel good about our immediate results but bad about our long-term results when we practice bad habits. It is the opposite of good habits. The immediate outcome is unpleasant, but the result is satisfying. A certain level of success in almost any field is ignoring an immediate reward for a long-term one. It's best to add a little instant pleasure to the habits that pay off in the long run and a little pain to those that don't. If you haven't already, go out and buy a copy of this book because you'll learn the knowledge from all the stories and examples James Clear uses to explain some advanced tactics that are not in this summary that will help you develop your habits. If you want to learn more about the habit-making concept then check out this video, The 20 Second Rules How to Make or Break a Habit.